always wanted to live on a farm. I'd always wanted to be a farmer. And so we came and looked at this place and nobody was interested in it. There was nothing here. One old house where the gatehouse is now and nothing. The Reynolds family who owned this farm had lived in it for a hundred years. They'd been pioneers really. My mother died and left me a small inheritance and we bought the farm. Growing up in the farm, it was just my mom and my two other siblings, so just four of us in the house. And the house was, was big and a beautiful farmhouse. And we always had a few people living on the farm here and there and school buses or teepees or whatnot. So the whole community thing on the farm started way back when I was a child. Oh, it was a wonderful culture in those early 80s. The road was just full of, of people who'd come up from the United States. They were draft dodgers. Everybody was trying to go back to the land. They were all building huge gardens and, and working just as little as they could, except building their own houses and doing all that kind of thing, just working enough to bring in the money. And so it was a very laid back, juicy time. And uh, we had lots of potlucks. And, and every year at, at the farm here, we'd throw a big uh, barn dance and invite everybody down to the barn dance. And there was always hay stacked up at one end or maybe even around the whole barn. And, and Baldy would come because he lived in the neighborhood and all the rest of the musicians on the island would come because they all wanted to come and sing and they'd all come for free and, and people would just dance up a storm and all the kids would come and the kids would go roam all over the place. My mom, she, she's always just gone with her gut and what she wants to do in her life without really having like it all laid out and exactly how it's going to work out. She dreamt about living on a farm and living on the land when she was little. And so it was a dream for her. But when she got here, she didn't have any experience of living on the land and everything else. And so she was fortunate to have Gary Kay live down the road. And um, Gary helped her a lot. And they worked together raising the lambs and, and selling them together and haying and doing everything on the land. Um, he was an incredible um, support for her and an essential part of the early days on Stoll Lake Farm. Things are always breaking down because these weren't new pieces of equipment. So we were keeping the tractor running. I mean, you did whatever you had to do. And quite often it was like uh, bailing wire that was just kind of holding everything together just to make it through the day so they could get the hay in before the, you know, before the clouds rolled in. So we were dealing with that kind of thing all the time. You had to, you had to learn how to fix things all the time. When, when we first decided that we would do something together on the farm, we went off and bought a flock of sheep up in the Noose Bay. 60 ewes we bought. And we brought them back to the farm and they all had foot rot, which was really an incredible thing for sheep to have. So we ended up having to build something outside this area so that we could run them through this bath all the time. And, um, but the amazing thing about our life together doing the sheep was that we did everything. We did absolutely everything. We birthed them, we grew them, we hayed all over the island, we looked after them, we gave them all the shots they needed and everything else, and then we ended up killing them and cutting them up in the basement <laughs> of the house and selling them. Yeah. And so it was a most extraordinary history, really, when you think about it. But Gary was, you know, is a really, really good at all of this and at the building and everything else. It was quite a, an amazing time. For me, it's a wonderful time in my mind. One of my images would be at night, it's steamy downstairs, it's cold outside, and, and the ewes would come in and lie there like these islands, you know, yeah. plunk down all over the barn floor down there. The lambs are now maybe a month old and they're big, they're strong, they're playful. And there'd be a gang of about 30 of them would just come flying down off the hill into the barn and <laughs> jumping from you on, the, on their backs because they're lying there and just jumping like from island to island. That was, uh, that was one of the images I remember really clearly. Mm -hmm. it, was very, it was a very nice experience. A lot of work and uh, a lot of problems that we had to deal with, but overall it was... It was excellent. Yeah.